All righty. <clears throat> Good morning, even though it's in the afternoon. What do I know? <clears throat> All right, so this is going to be an update. I haven't been on making any videos because I have not been in a good place and so my purpose today is to give you a little bit of an update people have been asking how you've been doing and I have been <clears throat> lying I've been saying oh just fine well it really hasn't been fine the last video that I did was an update and I had a cardo conversion well I did feel good after that I felt great but it didn't last so uh, I have now been frustrated because I'm now basically back to Dr. Eshelston's uh, cardiac cripple. I can't walk at all. I can't go upstairs. I literally go upstairs. I read a book. So that's what I have been doing. And I've been putting it off because I don't know anything. They don't tell me anything. I know I either need a cardio conversion or hopefully a, um, uh, an ablation or they think maybe I need a new valve. And so uh, they don't know what it is. And I keep saying, well, why can't I do, why can't you do this? Well, well we kind of, uh, they said, well, I'm 80. Here's the truth of the matter. I'm 87 years old and they don't want to give me an ablation because what if it, my valve is bad? So finally, I got them to, to, to do something. Gonna, they tested my valve last Friday, and it was fine. And I was so happy. So I had, you don't talk to doctors anymore. You write them, you email them, you text them. <clears throat> so I said, look, uh, he said I he wanted to, he said he wanted to do a procedure and I said great what's the procedure and he said well we want to do an angiogram okay but you've just did one to uh, November of last year and I said I want to talk to you about that before we go into the procedure and he said he didn't say anything didn't answer that one. And sure enough, come times for the procedure on Friday. <clears throat> so we get there and I tell the nurse, I say, I'm, I'm not going to do this unless he convinces me we should do this. And he said, good for you. And so the, the doctor comes and I say, now what are we going to do? I can't make a good decision unless I have good information. So what are we doing here? And he said, and I said, you know, we're doing an angiogram. You guys, I don't really want that because you guys are going to put dye into my system so that you can read the what you're doing. And he said, oh, no, no, I'm not going to do that. Oh, good. What are you going to do? Well, we're going to do a pressure test of the two sides, the two valves in your heart. <clears throat> and... I thought, great, why are we doing that? And he said, well, because uh, before we can recommend you to have an, uh, to the uh, specialist that does the ablation, we've got to tell him that the, your valves are all right. Otherwise, he's going to say, well, I'm not going to waste my time and procedure doing this guy. He's 87 years old and he's, it won't help him at all. And I waste my time. And I thought, okay, that makes sense. At that point, I understood I was dealing with a bureaucracy, not a medical procedure. So he had his hoops that he has to jump through. He's going to make me jump through those hoops. Fine, that I can deal with. So they did the procedure. It took 45 minutes. Yeah, 45 minutes, which is the longest I've ever been in the cath lab. Usually they go in, zip, zip, and, and go out. So he said, all right, what, now we're done. I want to talk to you. I said, great, I want to talk to you. So he comes back out, and he says, your valves are fine. And I said, good. How do they compare to 
two years ago or three years ago or four years ago. And he says, never mind, they're fine. I'm telling you, they're just fine. And I said, all right, but how do they compare to? And he said, well, they're just exactly the same, which is what I wanted to know. And he didn't like to admit the fact, because he's not a plant-based doctor, that my uh, arteries and, you know, all my blood vessels that he had done, with, checked with the angiogram, they were just as fine as they were in 2016 when I first started on this diet. Uh, well, 17 or 18 was the last one he did them after I had been on it a while. So everything was copacetic. So I said, all right, what are we going to do from now on? And he said, well... Now we know your valve is fine. We're going to put you back on blood thinners and you have to be on blood thinners for four weeks and then we're going to give you uh, a cardiac conversion like you had before. And I said, well, it didn't work before. What are we going to do if it doesn't last? And he said, well, then I'll recommend you to the... Uh, the, the guy that does the ablations. And I thought, okay. And I said, you know, and he sort of hesitated. He didn't want to commit. And I said, well, why are you worried? He says, because you're 87 years old. Get the theme here. You're 87 years old. And, uh, you know, you have a history. So he says, but I think you're a good candidate. So that was Friday. I go home. <clears throat> Saturday night, Dottie and I went out to our Mexican restaurant where we have a group come by and we all eat whole food, plant-based, no oil, no salt, no sugar food. And when I get home from it about eight o'clock or so, there's an email from him saying that he talked to the guy that does this and he said, yes, he thought I would be a candidate to do it, and he was going to do it. He was going to contact me, and in fact, this morning, I did get an email from him saying that he was going to contact me. Everybody tells you they're going to do it. Why don't you just contact me? So I am ecstatic. Uh, basically, what happened last Friday is I got my attitude adjusted. The benefits of a whole food plant-based lifestyle are that you are in control of your healing. You are the one that's decided how you're going to heal and how much and how good it's going to be. And that was, and I did that for seven years and have loved it and have had been healthy. And lately I've had this problem and it's basically just an electrical problem, but you know, once you get into medicine, they got to say, they, they have to do the, this and they have to do that just because the goddamn attorneys are in there. So that's my update. I have been watching a lot of, I haven't been able to do much. I can't really climb stairs. I can't, can't hardly walk more than 20 feet and I have to walk super slow. I have a cane. And I told a friend of mine, the cane is just a prop, but it does make me walk slowly. If I walk at my normal pace, I have terrible chest pains. And I, as I told the doctor, and I'm telling you guys, I'm 87, I don't have any aches and pains, except when I have the uh, angina. But And it's delightful to be that way. And so I'm hoping to get a few more years out of this old body because I'm having a ball so far. So that's it for now. I will hope I'll keep you guys updated and we'll see where we go from here. Talk to you later.